Ladies and gentlemen, when adding radicals, they are going to be much different than multiplying and dividing. When we are adding radicals, um, we have to have common radicands. For instance, remember I said, guys, these operations can be, you know, um, uh, you guys can work off of like polynomials. So the, just like I said this, what if I said 2x plus 3x? Well, there's a difference between 2x times 3x and 2x plus 3x. 2x plus 3x. I'm waiting. So 2x plus 3x is going to be just 5x. Well, I was going over exactly what I wanted you to know, and I just noticed that you were not paying attention, so I was just waiting so you would have it. OK, I know. I know, but as I was talking about what I was going over, I'm not saying you have, you're not doing everything right. I'm just saying I'm trying. <laughs> so the next thing was, what about if I said 2x plus 3y? Can we add 2x plus 3y? No, because no, they're not like terms, right? The exact same thing is the case when adding and subtracting radicands. If your radicand is not the same, that means the number under your radical, you cannot combine them. You can do it for multiplying and dividing. You cannot do it for adding and subtracting. So now, before we do anything, the first thing we want to do is make sure we simplify. Simplify your radicals. Thank you, boy. So I have 2 times square root of 3. I can rewrite this as 4 times 3. And I can rewrite this plus 2 times 9 um, times 2. OK? Therefore, I have 2 square root of 3. Minus square root of 4 is 2 square root of 3 plus 2 times 3 square root of 2. Is everybody following me so far? So 2 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3 this cancels. It's going to go to 0. 2 times 3 is 6 square root of 2, which would be your final answer.